Uh, I believe Dr. King would be very, very pleased and proud of President Obama and his presidency. He was a big, big presence. And so coming back or looking on President Obama's presidency, Dr. King would be big enough to say, hey, substitute my name uh, for President Obama's. Because while President Obama might not use the exact words I use, like the beloved community, that's what he's working toward. That's what he's been working toward in his emphasis on inclusiveness, on immigration, on his fight for health care for all, in his focus on the environment, uh, his focus on educational excellence and peace, war no more. I think Dr. King would be incredibly proud of a young man who has represented the community in the best traditions of both uh, the willingness to fight for poor people, as he, the president did as a community activist in Chicago. He would appreciate the president's seminarian approach, his very thoughtful approach to thinking about complicated problems, not rushing to sound by conclusions. At the same time, he would feel great dismay for the politics of cynicism, for the politics of obstructionism, uh, for the unwillingness both outside of the Obama White House as well as inside the Obama White House for really reconciling our past with our present, for jumping too quickly uh, to the idea that the civil rights movement had done the heavy lifting. Now it was simply up to black people uh, to march forward into their glorious future. Martin Luther King Jr. comes out of a prophetic tradition, meaning that he's there to speak truth to power. He's there to call powerful people into uh, a sense of accountability and a state of accountability. But yeah, Dr. King would be excited that a Barack Obama could be president, that America's racial consciousness has evolved in such a way that he could get elected. He would be saying, Mr. President, just like he said to Lyndon Johnson, just like he said to John F. Kennedy, he'd be saying, Mr. President Obama, we need you to do more. We're proud of you. We love you. We respect you. We protect you. But it's my moral job to also correct you. Why do you think there was no violence by the state troopers today? I think because the presence of all of these people from all over America and because you had some 3,000, 3 or 4,000 people in the line. I think it was mainly because of uh, the power of numbers, of pressure on the federal government and pressure on the local state government. 